guys welcome welcome back to my channel this is Elise from discovering Elise and tonight we are packing for my crew <laughs> where we are going and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride, the float, the whatever. So welcome and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because that will help my channel greatly. So what I'm doing right now is just getting everything together. It, everything is a mess. Things are everywhere all over the floor. I got my daughter all packed up. Um, and now I have these packages, as you can see over here, and stuff everywhere um, to see what all I need. So um, I ordered some stuff from Amazon just specifically for the cruise. And um, I think you guys might want to see. So um, this first thing is motion sickness bands. And if you can see that. Um, so these are uh, like a natural homeopathic kind of relief for nausea and seasickness. And it works by putting pressure here on the wrist. Um, I've used these before, not this particular brand, um, but I've used these before. Um, the regular, they're called C bands. And I did order a couple of those. So these are kind of girly. Um, so um, I got one pair for myself and one pair for my daughter. And then I got Twee some black C-bands. So I'll show you those once I open up the package. So this is one of the main things that you're going to need if you're going on a cruise. Let's see what's in this one. I don't know why they don't put what stuff is on here. Let's see. Oh, so these are the lanyards. So when you go on a cruise, you'll get a key card which is kind of like your pass or your um, way of getting around the ship, way to get into your room, to purchase anything. So you need to keep that. That's super important. That's to identify you um, on the cruise. So it's important to have a lanyard to wear that around your neck so you don't lose that little card. So I got a four pack. I got a four pack of those little lanyards and it's like a purple one with like it's all like boat and sea themed this one has dolphins it's blue a red one with like starfish and crabs and then like the nautical anchor kind of thing um so we'll take these that's super important to have and also you have your luggage tags and it came as, as a set with the luggage tags as well so we'll put that on our luggage um, for the cruise this right here is some motion sickness patches and these were really inexpensive. I think they were like $5.99, but I will list everything below so you guys can um, purchase it if you're going on a cruise. But these go behind your ear. It's another homeopathic um, remedy for nausea and motion sickness when you're on a boat. Or sometimes people get motion sickness in the car, so um, they can use these as well. I also already have Dramamine. That's something. That's another homeopathic kind of remedy thing for... Um, nausea motion sickness that goes under your tongue sublingual um yeah and i do have some um prescription medicine for um nausea if it's super serious but um i doubt we'll need that so uh motion sickness patches Okay, so this right here 
right here, this is some magnetic hooks. So when you're in the cabin on the cruises, the walls are metal. So you can use these magnetic hooks to hang things, um, hang things on the wall to kind of uh, make use or utilize the space because it's tiny. The rooms are super tiny in there. And this time we didn't get a balcony or a suite. We ended up getting an interior cabin because this was a last minute thing and everything was totally sold out. So we lucked up and got an interior cabin. And um, yeah, so I got some, um, some hooks, some, some magnetic hooks to hang things on the wall. the the C bands the black ones for Tweety just in case and I'll take the extra in case we meet someone and they might need it and I can just hand them have this for them to give all right so the next thing is these power strips now you have to have certain kind of power strips you can't just have the regular surge protectors it has to be non surge protector cruise approved power strips so i got three of them because it's going to be limited plugs and outlets in the room so each one of us will have our own because you know um, how everyone has their gadgets and it has the plugs and it also has um, usb ports so we have one for each of us Let's see. Last but not least for my packages that I have. Um, I think this is, yeah. So, um, don't do like I do, but uh, this right here. So, on a cruise, you can, each person can take a 12 pack of soft drinks. You can take one bottle of wine if you're over 21. So, um, this right here is for the bottle of wine and I will let you know once I'm on the cruise what I do with these little things. Some other things that I already have um, down here uh, that I'm going to pack is some metal straws because on the cruise they have these edible straws and they melt so in your drink so they're not good so i'm bringing extra straws you always want to bring like a um insulated tumbler that's not the one i'm bringing but um you want to bring one of those because you can refill and get ice and bring back to your cabin um what else you want to also make sure you have something for a bottle of water because you want to stay hydrated because you're going to be out in the sun and the elements and you want to make sure that um, you stay hydrated I'll be taking some liquid IV as well to go into our water bottles you also want to take um, make sure you have you a, um, a beach towel and your passport and all that stuff so I have all that stuff ready um, I'm taking an umbrella I'm also taking a small insulated um insulated cup for like my little adult beverages to go in and let's see what else is super important to take on a cruise other than what we have um i also i have these collapsible cups as well that can easily go into like um like my beach bag when we're going out and um, when we port on dock days, I can take this with us instead of taking the, the big cup and some reusable shopping bags. I have those. So when we go, um, I can use this for a beach bag or I can also use this for a shopping bag once we, once we dock and go to do a little shopping on the ports. And I have a little tiny umbrella. Uh, this umbrella is really small and I can take that with us when we dock. I have miniatures. Um, this is just my daughter's little Bath and Body Works spray. But this is some um, um, wrinkle releaser 
because you probably won't be able to iron. Everything is going to be packed up in the um, cabin in a tight space. So that'll help so you don't look too messed up um, on the cruise. I also have <clears throat> these like protective bags. I have a swim, like a waterproof bag for my cell phone. And this is like a little fanny pack and I'm going to put like my electronics, like my camera and stuff in that. So it doesn't get wet or splashed while I'm out and about. So yeah, um, passports, motion sickness stuff, making sure I take my medications that I take on a daily basis, um, any multivitamins, I have those in a, the seven day pill pack. Um, taking, you know, of course, you know, the clothes and, and everything we're packing and I'm thinking that's it as far as the cruise essentials. I do have a towel that I ordered off of Amazon, which is like, um, it's easy to like shake the sand off and it's really small. It folds up. It's right here. I have this. This is a towel. So I'll take this when we go to the beach and oh uh, taking a little small portable fan that you can plug up if you like a fan if you get high like me you know us ladies over 40 we get a little hot sometimes so taking you a portable fan i also have one small one that can go into my purse um, i have a small little travel purse that i'll be taking along with me and oh i also have these these little mosquito things little mosquito bracelets just in case um it's like made with centronella and you just wear it on your wrist instead of spraying like the the deet or the off or whatever i'll take these just in case we're somewhere with um lots of mosquitoes and i have one for everyone I have some little tiny fold up slippers um on this cruise since it's christmas time they're supposed to have like a christmas pajama party they're supposed to have like a white party and then of course the captain's dinner where everyone kind of dresses up a little bit um they're gonna have like a neon party is what i was told one night it's so many things to do on the cruise and i can't wait to take you guys and show you everything that um that is going on on this cruise um oh i have found this this little travel toothbrush on timu and i already filled it with the toothpaste here it's just the um the, you know the whitening colgate with the charcoal toothpaste but you put the toothpaste in the bottom and then the toothbrush is on the top and so i thought that was super neat and a space saver so that'll go um of course my makeup and and all of that stuff and I think that's it make sure I make sure you take you like a, a hat to cover um, if you need sunscreen you'll take that um, I do have like uh, my my setting spray has SPF in it and I also have some um, gel that well like oil um, for my skin as well but i am super excited to go on this cruise and i can't wait for you guys to see and enjoy this will be my third cruise mine and tweety's third cruise and this is my daughter's first cruise so i really hope she's she enjoys it she's not seeming too enthused um well you know how teenagers are but hopefully she has fun and enjoys this cruise as much as we love to cruise and our favorite cruise line is carnival so uh, people say that it's like, you know, like the, the baby beginner cruise, but that's the fun cruise. That's the party cruise. All the stuff goes on on that cruise. The other cruises are kind of like chilled out and laid back or whatever. So but we like to have fun. So I love Carnival. So that's where we picked. And um, so I am glad to take you guys along with me. Just don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That'll help my channel to grow. And I really appreciate you guys. I'm not sure if this video is going to come out um tomorrow or before the cruise i'm going to try to get as many videos out as i can because once i'm on the cruise i won't be able to post and so that'll be like a five day span through vlogmas so the um i probably will my last day of vlogmas will probably be the 18th um day 18 but i think i did really good 
for my very first time being a YouTuber and um, doing Vlogmas and posting daily. Um, it was a feat, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope to gain some new subbies along the way. So I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a happy holiday, not stressing too much, having a bunch of fun. And um, keep watching, keep um, subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>